Hey guys and welcome to the first vlog for week one of my 30 day Spanish challenge. I'm really excited to share it with you all. So I recorded a load of little videos as I was going through the week about my plans and ideas and things that worked and didn't work. And I wanted to kind of share with you the kind of summarized actual process of, of what I went through uh, in the last seven days. And if you're thinking while you're watching this, hmm, that baseline thing, it looks pretty interesting, seems like something I might want to try, then um, have a look at the uh, description below and you'll find my affiliate link, which will give you a $10 discount. And then if you do sign up, then I get a little um, a little something back from Baselang, um, which will help me to produce these videos and make more content and do other exciting language stuff. So uh, yeah, great for you and great for me. So I look forward to seeing what you think about the, my first seven days of learning Spanish and how I got on. And if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. So, see you then. Here we go then, the journey starts. So I literally have just booked my first lessons on Baselang and I decided that for my two hours tomorrow that I'm going to do as one big block to see how I can handle doing two hours. I decided to book four different teachers because each uh, lesson is 30 minutes because I want to sort of test them out and sort of see which one works best and you know who, who I like because I always like to test out a few different teachers at the beginning just to sort of find someone I really click with and then I can really go forward with either one or possibly two different teachers to really then sort of smash out all the lessons and start working on the grammar and all that sort of stuff so yeah I'm ready ready to go I'm um, getting everything sorted and uh, tomorrow will be officially day one so wish me luck well I couldn't resist it's day zero but yeah, I couldn't resist. I started watching uh, Casa de Papel on uh, on Netflix, so you know, sue me. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. So uh, yeah, this is how I've been doing it. So I've got Netflix open here on my Surface, as you can see, which is now decided to start playing. And when it stops, there we go. Uh, if we go back, there we go. So because I've got language learning with Netflix, this thing down here, which you all need if you're watching thingy, um, watching anything on Netflix really, then you have the Spanish there and I've got the Italian there and uh, yeah, now I can just start watching it and I've got it so it hides the subtitles so if I don't want to see the uh, translation into Italian then I don't have to. So uh, yeah, at the moment I can pretty much manage with the uh, Spanish so uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to my lessons and I think I'm probably going to be able to pick it up pretty quickly from my Italian so good times. Hey there, so it's uh, day two. I've just literally popped to the shops and uh, yeah, so I'd started to listen to some Spanish songs to kind of warm me up for my lessons later and kind of get me back into the swing of things. So I was listening to some of the ones I listened to the last time when I started learning a little bit of Spanish, which was like Despacito and stuff like that. Um, Cause that was when, yeah, for some reason I started learning Spanish and then all the Spanish songs started being popular on TV, which was, you know, pretty good. So uh, yeah, started listening to those and realized there's quite a lot of phrases I can recognize and remember so i think that's going to be a really good way of sort of picking up some of those sort of latent words and phrases that are in uh in the back of my mind somewhere so uh yeah gonna go back and have lunch and then i've got my lessons this afternoon with a couple of different teachers to see how that goes so i will see you then no hable espanol de de años uh, entonces okay, <laughs> okay. Um, estoy, estoy nervioso <laughs> poco poco de espanol um conocer o sí 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 estoy un un profesor de, uh, de inglés de, de ingleses sí es un, un, un uh, bien idea sí 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 uh, um, porque porque um, puedo um, indovinar del de italian, italiano aquí. hola a todos so I've just finished the first two hours. So it was a little bit, a little bit stressful um, with four different teachers. And but luckily, because they finished the lessons a couple of minutes early, I was able to sort of have a minute between each one. Um, but yeah, I was really surprised that I've managed to um, remember loads of stuff, or at least guess from Italian anyway, um, some basics. And and by the final lesson, I was probably able to speak for at least half of it in Spanish and asking for Spanish words and stuff like that. Um, and it sounds like from the initial conversation, they've already assessed me and put me at level three, um, which is basically they've said, I think they said that level one to three is beginner, four to six is intermediate, and then seven to nine is advanced or something like that. Um, so it's a good place to start. 
I know I'm going to have loads of holes in terms of grammar and vocabulary and stuff like that, but basically what a, what a couple of the guys basically said was, we're better just starting with the difficult stuff and then coming back to any specific grammar that I can't remember or I don't really understand, because I can just follow it in the sentences, because I can basically follow the basic stuff fairly well. So uh, yeah, I'm really surprised how much I remembered, and also just from listening to those songs earlier and stuff like that, I was able to pick up a lot. Um, and to be honest, when I was doing it, I did actually use like Deeple, which is the translator that I use instead of Google Translate. But I did use that for most of the lesson just to sort of give me those phrases I needed just to keep things moving rather than sort of reverting back to English. Sometimes I had to, but it wasn't too bad. So yeah, a really great start. I've got a couple of good teachers that hopefully I can find some time in their calendar to book. Um, but otherwise, I think I'm just going to book some random teachers and just get started going through the vocabulary and stuff like that and see how we go. So uh, yeah, First set of lessons done for day one, because I know I keep saying the wrong days and languages and numbers, so day one. And uh, yeah, so um, I'm going to go and rest my brain now and I will uh, speak to you all in a bit. So, as you can probably tell, I'm absolutely loving this series. It's really interesting, really exciting, and I'm just loving the fact that I can watch it only with the Spanish subtitles and get the gist of everything that's going on. So, really enjoyable and a great way of learning new stuff. And here we go again with another lesson in the bag. So, uh, yeah, I managed to do my two hours today, which was a little bit challenging, but and a bit of a mixed bag with the different teachers. But, you know, it was all right. So you can see from this one that it was mainly vocabulary, the first lesson, and it was going through and reading like example sentences and stuff like that. So at the beginning of each level, they kind of have one of these to um, boost your vocabulary, which is great because my vocabulary is really sparse at the moment. Um, but it is a little dull. It's not my favorite kind of activity, just reading sentences and getting a few little pronunciation um, tips. So I don't think I'll be doing those a huge amount in the lesson because I think there's better ways of me learning the new vocabulary I need to be you know, talking about different stuff. Um, and the second lesson was focused mainly around a, a video because the teacher noticed that I couldn't understand the difference between para and por. Um, so they sent me a video and we did some exercises, which was okay. The exercises were way too advanced for my level, but, um, you know, I feel like I understand it a little bit more. So it was nice to see that the teachers are actually paying attention to mistakes I'm making and trying to correct those things, not just sort of following the standard curriculum. So I'm looking forward to seeing how some other teachers work and uh, you know what sort of things we focus on in the different lessons and finding the approach that works best for me so hola todos uh day three um so today's my first day doing the challenge while i'm actually working you know a normal day not just the weekend um but luckily i've managed to um get a few things done earlier than i expected and so i've managed to squeeze out squeeze in potentially um an extra hour so i'm actually going to be able to fit my two hours in today as well which is great so that'll be three days in a row i've been able to do two hours so i'm just about to book my next lessons because you can book them i think literally like one minute before the time or something like that so uh yeah i'm just about to book those in and then carry on doing the work i'm doing and then i'm going to be smashing out two hours and i'm going to be reviewing all of the basics from what they call like level one and level two because they assess me for level three and i decided yesterday that i think going through and just reviewing the basics just so i'm aware of sort of the basic conjugations and pronouns and stuff is really going to help me moving forward so i just feel more comfortable with that and i'm not just guessing everything from what I know in Italian or the rough things that I can remember. So uh, that's the plan. And I will see you in a couple of hours when I finish the lessons. Hey guys. Ooh, so uh, yeah, two hours done. Just finished uh, my lessons and I thought I'd give you a bit of a recap and see how I went. So uh, yeah, again, a bit of a mixed bag, but the second lesson I would say was really, really great. Um, but basically because I had that bit of a plan and I told the teachers exactly what um, review chapters that I wanted to work on and I was quite forceful um, one of the teachers the first teacher suggested we watch a video and I just said I wanted to go through the slides specifically to practice which worked really really well um, and then in the second lesson the teacher was fantastic and we went through all, some of the basics and we kind of had a lot of conversation around them but we got to practice and um, she was really happy to give me corrections for everything and she was really attentive which was amazing really perfect um so actually i've almost finished in the two hours today all of the sections in the level one that i wanted to review so i think maybe between tomorrow and wednesday i might be able to finish this one and most of level two as well and then when i go back to level three for the new stuff then i'll probably feel quite confident um with that and actually some of the level three stuff i think i may even know some of that as well um already but i basically feel like i can have some basic simple conversations already which is fantastic um 
and I'm really enjoying watching Casa de Papel and actually um, managed to help me in the lesson because I managed to say that my wife is pregnant because I heard a woman is pregnant on Casa de Papel. So uh, even a series like that can help you find some useful vocabulary. So uh, yeah, that's it for today. I've got to finish off my work for the rest of the afternoon and I will see you later. So a different style of lesson today. We focus mainly on grammar because I've been trying to reinforce the basics and feel a bit more comfortable and confident when I'm speaking that I'm not just guessing or using Italian or something like that. So as you can see, there's some tables to fill in with the conjugations, some gap fill sentences, some mix and match and different bits and pieces like that, just to really get used to the different conjugations and stuff like that, which I think is a really nice way of doing it. Um, and I really like the fact in this lesson that the teacher was really helpful um, when I try to make the sentences more complicated than the examples or to try and change them a little bit because I always like to try and change the sentences or add things to them or try and say things in different ways because I think that's really what helps me to memorize the structures and learn new things and also be increasing my vocabulary while I'm practicing the grammar so it was really nice to have a supportive teacher who kind of understood that process and was there to kind of just give me that little bit of support I needed while I was doing it and I'm looking forward to carrying on reinforcing the basics and feeling more and more more comfortable with the structures and the format um, so when I'm speaking I'm not don't not worrying so much about just guessing which I think is really important to help me uh, increase my fluidity and stuff uh, during the conversation there we go then first lesson today for day three then so uh, yeah it was a really really great lesson and uh, so I found another teacher that I really like which is perfect and uh, yeah, I managed to finish all the reviews of level one in the baseline curriculum. So now I can move on to level two and reviewing all of that. And I'm feeling a lot more confident with some of the basic grammar and remembering a lot of the verbs and guessing a lot from Italian as well, which is really, really great. So I feel like I'm actually starting to have some simple basic conversations, which is really nice after only a couple of days. Um, and I've got managed to squeeze in another lesson later on this afternoon before I have dinner and then carry on working in the evening. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get back down to work and I will see you a little later. Buena mañana a todos. Um, yeah, it's a little early. I may look a little red. I've just had a had a shower, but I've been up for a couple of hours. Um, and uh, I made a little discovery this morning, so I thought I wanted to share it with you guys. So I um, got a Kindle Unlimited subscription, or a, a trial anyway, um, at the beginning of November. I just realised that um, the all the Harry Potter books are available on there for free if you have the Kindle Unlimited. So I decided to download the first one in Spanish, and I just started reading it. So... Um, it's I, I can pretty much follow most of it because I've read the first chapter of the first one about 100 times in English and probably about the same in Italian. So I can kind of I know it word for word, really. Um, but yeah, my plan is basically not to be searching for the words, just literally just to read it, read it out loud, practice kind of trying to say a lot of the words and then just sort of seeing what words I notice and what ones I can work out. So not really studying it, but just kind of working my way through it and just giving me a little more exposure to um all the stuff when i've got a bit of time so uh yeah that was my little discovery for today so uh a new addition to my harry potter collection and uh yeah i've got a couple of hours of lessons a little bit later and i'm now off to the shops to do our weekly shopping estoy bien eh sí eh sí eh, no no tengo mucho trabajo uh, hoy entonces es muy <laughs> es muy muy bien <laughs> sí sí eh um Hmm. Martes, um, martes y jueves son lo, los días um, muy ocupados. Uh, okay. es, espero uh, que podemos um, ver las lecciones de, de práctica de level 2, um, porque no hablo español de... Uh, algunos años, entonces um, ten, tengo que practicar los fundamentos um, un poco. Um, okay. Pero estaba controlando um, las lecciones de level 2 y um, la mejor parte me recuerdo un poco, entonces la práctica um, es suficiente. Uh, para... eh, uh, un, un, camino, un camino rápido es es muy bien eh, um, hablar siempre en español para mí um, porque hablo um, hablo italia, italiano en nivel avanzado entonces escuchar español no es uh, o es muy muy fácil <laughs> um, okay. claro 
Sí, gracias. Ok. Eh, esto, esto camino es, es perfecto para mí. Hello, I'm back. So I've literally just finished my uh, two hours for today. Um, my brain is a little bit fried. I'm just about to have some lunch. Um, again, I had two different teachers this time because I can't seem to find one teacher that has uh, two hours availability. Um, and each time I'm doing it, I'm finding a different teacher because the ones I've had previously aren't available. So it doesn't really bother me so much now because I've got a clear idea of what I'm working on. Um, but the lessons were, were pretty good. I would say maybe the first one was better than the second, but um, I think it's also getting the teachers used to how I like doing things, like I like them to speak in Spanish all the time, even if I don't completely understand, I want that sort of full immersion. Um, and I want them to always correct me and my pronunciation and the stress and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm rocketing through and I think I've almost finished the level two stuff now, which means I can get on to the level three, which is kind of the upper beginner stuff, apparently, according to their curriculum. And I can start um, maybe getting onto some new stuff that I've never studied before. Hey guys, it's Thursday and I've just finished my lesson for today. I'm only fitting one in because I'm, I'm too busy, but it's probably good because I'm, I'm feeling a little bit tired today. So uh, yeah, but I actually had my first lesson just for conversation because I started chatting to the guy. Chatting so much I forgot to actually ask him if I could record the lesson because I'd like to have them for a review later. But um, yeah, so basically we literally spoke completely in Spanish for a whole hour, which I think was great. And uh, yeah, he, he said he was really surprised I've only been learning for a couple of days, obviously knowing Italian helps. Um, but basically having only after a couple of days being able to have a full conversation in Spanish, understand what he's saying and just talking about loads of stuff like work and stuff like that, I think it's a really great start and it's really boosted my confidence to show actually what I'm doing is working and having lots and lots of this practice speaking is really going to help. So I think I really want to increase the amount of time I'm spending literally just having conversation, but I also want to rocket through a lot of the basic grammar so that I can start using more accurate stuff rather than just using like past continuous all the time, start using past simple and stuff like that. But really doesn't matter because I had a full conversation for an hour. I need to go and rest because my, you know, my brain's hurting. <laughs> but yeah, it was really good. First full conversation. And I'm looking forward tomorrow to finish off the first week of um, learning Spanish. So I'll see you then. Good morning, guys. It's Friday, so it's the final day of week one. And uh, yeah, I'm just about to start my next lesson, but I've been up for a little while. So I've just watched about an hour of Casa de Papel on Netflix, found a couple of Spanish YouTubers because I want to start watching some of that. So I usually go for video game channels and stuff like that because that's what I like to watch in English. So I'm going to be watching a couple of those later without subtitles, probably, because they never have subtitles because they're not for <laughs> language learners. But yeah, apart from that, I'm going to do my lesson today, which is about an hour and a half, because I found one teacher that I really like, and they had an hour and a half availability, so I thought that would be better to try today. And then that's the end of my lessons for the first week. So I will see you there. Okay, para me, no, no, es, uh, no es como un, un libro de texto, eh, pero es, es posible... Um, um, es, escuchar um, un, unas, unas palabras y en, entender uh, un poco, per, pero no, no es po, uh, posible. Uh, en... ah, ah, sí, 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 posible. Okay. Okay. No, no es posible uh, aprender uh, un, un idioma en, en ese camino, pero es, posi uh, <laughs> es posible... Um, practicar o re, repasar las palabras, las frases um, en, en camino hmm, divertido. Hola a todos. Estaba hablando con el pro, profesor para una hora, una hora y, y media. Um, e, entonces mi, mi mente um, siento que va a es, explotar, pero es uh, muy interesante, muy, muy útil um, para aprender las palabras nuevas uh, y uh, solidificar los fundamentos que estaba uh, practicando uh, esta semana. Uh, so, just a little bit of Spanish there <laughs> to tell you that I am actually learning something. Um, so, yeah, I, I did a lot of translating in this one to try and keep the conversation moving. So I didn't worry about that too much. But one thing I noticed that was really interesting was that I kept 
moving towards translating the phrases in Italian to Spanish rather than English to Spanish, which I found was really strange. I don't know why I kept doing it, but for some reason, when I'm speaking Spanish, the Italian words seem to come more easily because I think the grammatical structures are the same and a lot of the words are similar. It kind of seems closer to, to my mind speaking in Italian when I'm thinking in Spanish than thinking in English into Spanish. It's a little bit strange. So um, I think that's something I just need to be careful of. But also, it's also part of the, the thing that I'm guessing a lot of Spanish words from Italian. So I think I'm kind of thinking in Italian and Spanish at the same time. Um, but yeah, really interesting thing that actually, when I'm speaking Spanish, I kind of, English is actually the, the language that's furthest away from my mind, rather than actually using that as the main translation language, which I didn't really expect, but just something interesting that I found out. So I thought I'd share it with you guys uh, today. Hola a todos, estoy caminando después el muerto. Eh, quiero hablar un poco del, de español, de que estaba estudiando esta semana, esta semana uh, y, y todo. Uh, entonces, uh, esta, esta semana, um, Hmm. Estoy contento que puedo hablar en camino simples uh, um, y um, puedo usar um, pasado, presente, futuro um, para hablar y puedo tener una conversación uh, en español para uno, una hora uh, y, y media hoy y um, puedo entender um, una serie TV en Netflix y uh, hmm, estoy escombrándome um, los sonidos de, de español y porque hablo italiano es muy fácil aprenderlo um, pero uh, me gusta el, cam el uh, camino de, de baseline y um, pienso que tengo que um, hmm, tengo un, un método o un, una idea um, específica um, para lo, las lecciones um, para um, tomar todos um, para um, mi nivel. Uh, entonces un, uh, un pequeño uh, uh, video <laughs> um, que quiero grabar para uh, mostrarte uh, mi, mi progreso. Entonces um, es todo. Uh, eh. Chao. There we have it guys. So that's the uh, the roundup, the vlog of week one, and I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my progress and everything I uh, got up to. And uh, I look forward to sharing the second week and showing you, you know, how things progressed and what I've been working on. And like I say, remember that if uh, you decide you want to check out Baselang and have a look at that, then use the link in my description and you'll get $10 off your first subscription. So uh, have fun. And if you like it, remember to subscribe and like the video and I will see you in the next one.